What's up, you guys? Kirsty Snyder here alongside Catherine and Daniel, as you can see. We are here live for the Funnel Team training for Teachable Tuesday on the 2nd of April. If you are catching the replay from teachabletuesdayreplays.com, be sure to put replay in the comments below. And then the document we go over tonight will be inside the description below this video. So be sure to reference it if you're on the replay. Congrats on being here. We appreciate you. Be sure to take notes, be intentionally present and get rocking with what we talk about tonight. Now I'm going to let everyone in and then we'll get rocking with our training. There we go. Okay. When you guys can see and hear us, please put a two in the chat. Let us know what city and state you're tuning in from. We'd love to hear from you. Just participate in the chat here for me. Bert, of course, in Utah. What's up? Good. Candice, Rashila, great to see you guys. Who else do we have out there? Put two in the chat and let me know what city, state, or what country you're tuning in from. Let's get some participation going and then we'll get rocking with this in just a moment. Just let in a few more people in here. Nashville, Utah, Tennessee, New York, Connecticut. Love it. Keep it coming in, guys. San Fran. Love it. Wichita. What's up? Vanessa, great to see you. Okay. So real quick, you guys, I have a super important question. You've heard it before. Who has started, who is here, who has started in the last 30 days? Just put the word 30 in the chat. In the last 30 days, put the word 30 in the chat. Now, if you've started beyond that, say 45 days, say three months ago, whatever else, just put a me in the chat. Anywhere between, you know, 30 days to three months, put a me in the chat. John Vickers, what's up? Ray and oh my gosh, all you guys. Awesome. So what I want you to consider is when you started, say, give or take a month, three months ago, January to now, essentially, what is it that you're wanting to accomplish this year? It's already a quarter of 2024 done. You started, you're here, you're congratulating yourself on participating and being in proximity, but what is it over the next quarter, over the next three, four months, what is it you're looking to accomplish? Drop a comment right now. Let me know. Now, for some of you, that's going to be a typical, I want to have, you know, X amount made. I want to have X amount of sales. Jennifer Gill, for example, income replacement. Okay, cool. So for those of you out there who have started in the last three to four months, looking at your next three to four months for all of you guys, not just you newer people, what is it you actually want to accomplish in the next quarter? Growth and get over fears. Yes. But what Candace does that mean specifically for you? Now you, it, that could be rhetorical. You don't literally have to comment and, you know, put out your diary entry <laughs> if you don't want to, but what does it mean for you? Okay. Let's ask even something more specific. If you have started in the last 30 to 90 days, how much in the month of April do you want to make? Drop me a comment. Let me know. No filter. What comes to mind? We have a special guest again right now. <laughs> you want some? Okay. Oh, she really wants to get on camera. Are you guys okay to say hi to my daughter again? <laughs> Come here. Oh, yeah. You think so? Okay. Say hi, guys. <laughs> I thought she wanted lotion that's on my desk, but no, she's like, get me up, up. I want up. That's what she was doing. Um. Okay, say bye. Bye. Say, have a good day. Love you. <laughs> Hi again. I know. Special guest all the time. So some of you guys commented 3,000. Let's say we have 4,000, 3,000 K. So a good average for what we're seeing right now, anywhere between two to five K. So I want you to consider who do you show up as today, tomorrow, through this week, all the month of April. If your goal is to make, let's say the average $4,000, $4,000, Jason Gilbert last week said, K 10 global sales. That's $4,000. Okay, cool. Dissect it down, write it down. You don't necessarily have to comment it, but I want you to understand what kind of production do you have to match in order to get the two to five grand that all of you guys just commented. You want the extra $5,000 this month, the extra $2,000 this month, 2000 bucks in the whole month of April. Doing it from home within the funnel team, a couple hours a day, understanding how to do it because of training like this, or 
to get $2,000 a month, you're $12 an hour, 160 hours clocked, and you're reporting to a boss you may or may not like. Which one do you want? Well, obviously the TFT, which is why you're here. So think tonight as we walk through things, as we walk through this method from Catherine that she said, hey, we got to do this again. It works so well. We're going to hear from her in a second. As we walk through things tonight for what worked and how we're bringing it back to life, I want you to adopt this method and say, how could I use this method over the next few weeks in April to go get my two to three to four to $5,000? What does that look like for me? What kind of production, what kind of habit, what kind of action do I get to take? Not have to. You don't have to. I'm not going to fire you. I'm not your boss. You don't have to. What action do you get to take so you can match that income result that you decide just right now? Okay. I'll ask again. All comments should come through. Even those on the replay, I dare you to accept this challenge and still participate. Drop it in the comments below this video if you're on the replay. Okay. If in the month of April, you could make any amount of money, what would it be? All the comments come through. Let's participate one more time. And then we're going to go into the meat and potatoes for you. Okay. How much would you like to make? And then as we walk through things tonight, David, for example, first one to the punch, $6,000 in the month of April. What kind of production do you have to, you get to take to match that income result? How many short form videos are you going to get on YouTube? Are you scaling and doing something with TikTok? Have you done your Instagram today? What amount of live videos would you do? Are you going to host a webinar? What does that look like for you? What are you willing to do? Okay. You and only you can decide that, but I want you to think about that tonight and how you can incorporate our method tonight for what we'll talk about. And then being able to actually create that influx of momentum to go get the 5,000, the 6,000, the 2,000, whatever the goal. Okay. Now, before we get into it, I want to bring Catherine on for just a second. She messaged Daniel and me, I don't know, a week ago, maybe. Was that right? You're I like, hey. Less than a week. Less than a week. <laughs> She's like, yo, <laughs> we've got to do this. Remember how we did this last year? We need to bring it back. And I want you, Catherine, to just explain to everyone here and those on the replay, why are we bringing this method back? Why does it make you fire it up? What kind of result and momentum did you see when we used it last year? Just give it kind of a skinny and then we'll get into it. Well, I'd say number one is because, again, going back to the basics of what works, we always do and always will do what is proven to work. And this is something that we've done in the past and I felt just was needed. I mean, number one, don't you want to have as many tools available to you to be able to close sales daily? Yes or no? Drop it in the, in the chat. Do you want as many tools that you can have possible to close sales daily? Or do you want the minimum? I mean, we don't have to be here <laughs> for that, number one, and just rapport. We are a community. Again, it's not just about me, even though my brand is me. We are a community. We collaborate and we work together. It's not just about me. Think about this, for example. I just want to throw this out there real quick. When you go to a new restaurant, do you not look at the feedback from the people who go to those restaurants to see what they have to say about the restaurant, how great the service is, how the food is, or whatever the case may be, right? You go and you look at these reviews and it gets you fired up to go eat there, visit, see like, you know, how is, you know, the food, the service, the, um, what is the... What is the word I'm looking for? Ambiance. <laughs> there you go. Um, <laughs> you know, of the place that you're going to be visiting that you've never been before, right? And then you see so many great reviews. It makes you want to go there, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to leave those two things with you and what we go into tonight and why I felt like it was just so necessary that we bring this method back. It's something that last year when we were launching it, we would have notifications about it for it within it every single day. And when you guys are actually using it and maximizing it to its potential as we walk through it tonight for how, it really is going to be another method at your disposal in your toolbox that you can pull out that will help you in closing sales. Catherine just said it a moment ago. Do you want to close sales every day? Do you want to have 
as much, as many methods as you can to scale your business? Or would you rather just have the minimum? Oh, well, you know, feed you to the wolves. Good luck. Right. What do you think, Daniel? <laughs> well, we've used this before this phrase, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It's the same reason that we brought back the all in one funnel, because when we mm -hmm. dissected the business and said what worked best, that funnel worked the best. Mm -hmm. So, you know, to bring back the training that we're bringing back tonight, you know, this worked really, really well. We had several, several, like dozens and dozens of members on our team <clears throat> generating sales using this method. So again, this is proven. This isn't something that we just, you know, pulled out of a hat and said, ah, let's try this. Like it's, mm -hmm. this is something that we've actually demonstrated to work really, really well. Now, the one thing I wanted to add is, uh, do we want to talk about the announcements that we have, or do we want to wait till the end? I mean, let's take a poll. Do you guys thing, here want it now thing. or later? <laughs> I'm fine waiting. I mean, I got plenty of stuff to do here. <laughs> I'm working on, I'm working on emailing your leads. So, I mean, if you guys want me to do that, I can do that. And then we can <laughs> talk at the end. Everyone's saying now, so too bad. <laughs> well, of course there it's, you know, instant gratification, the world we live in, everyone wants it now. Yeah. So which, which one do you want to say first? Well, let's remind everybody that, um, and we haven't actually like officially announced this, um, but we can announce it now and I can share my screen and kind of show you guys what's up. Um, we've added a new section to the team, team training site. Um, and this is something that, you know, if you want to participate in, you surely can. It's more just there to uh, help you guys out as much as possible. So when you guys go down to, um, if you guys scroll all the way down to the very bottom, this is also on the app as well. Okay. It's mm -hmm. on the app. Uh, we created, and really this was based off of, if you guys remember, it was, I think a couple of focus Fridays ago, might've been a mindset Monday. I don't remember, but I was specifically talking about, and I had referenced Grey's Anatomy, how they always say, you know, when the doctors are talking to the patients, we're going to do everything we can to help you. Right. And I was thinking to myself, and I shared this with you guys, are you doing everything you can to build and grow your business? And I asked you guys, I said, are you doing everything you can to build and grow your business? Give me an honest answer. And of course, everyone answered no. I answered no. Like I gave myself a good checkup from the neck up. I looked myself in the mirror and said, am I doing everything I can to build this GFU business here in 2024? And the answer was no. So I said, what else can I do? I said, I'm going to do, I'm going to do a 90 day blitz. I'm going to do a 90 day, 90 day game plan, a 90 day push, a 90 day, every freaking thing I have. And oh yeah, I'm going to do it live in front of everybody. So they can all come and watch and join and, and do it along with me. So that's what this is right here. So there's a registration link here. You guys mm -hmm. can go and register. You can go come hang out in the Zoom, right? Um, there's also the replay list here. So if you can't make it live, I do this Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern. So I get it. You know, a lot of people work, whatever. If you can't make it live, you get the replay list right here. Uh, all the live streams are recorded right here. You guys can go watch them uh, whenever you want. And then there is the content folder. So everything that I'm covering in the 90-day game plan is all in the here, here in the folder. I'm bringing on special guests. Kirsty came on yesterday. Last week we had Bill on, we had Lisa. Like everyone's throwing down major, major value. Uh, for those of you guys that have attended uh, any of these lessons, are you gaining value from this? Okay. Um, are you gaining value? If so, comment the word value. I know Lori, some of you guys, other guys have been on. Uh, if you guys are getting value from this 90 day game plan, comment the word value. So that's all right there. Also, on top of that, you know, Kirsty was like, yo, DK, I'm going to one up your ass. So if you're going to do that, I'm going to do this. No, I'm just kidding. But so she also put together a 90 day mindset mastery playlist. So, and this coincides beautifully with the 90 day game plan. Cause the 90 day game plan is more of like the IPAs, the income producing activities, the 90 day ma uh, mindset mastery. This is all of everything that you're listening to and kind of absorbing into your brain and your heart and your, you know, your passion, your energy, your excitement, all of those things as you're going through the 90 day game plan to keep your mindset fresh, to keep you motivated, to keep you encouraged, pushing forward, finding ways to win all of those things. So all of that stuff is now available to you here in the team training site. Again, this is also on the app. Um, just something that we wanted to do to really, really push ourselves, like really go after it uh, here in 2024. So you guys are 100% uh, 
welcome to go check that out. Jump in if you can make it live. Awesome. If not, then, you know, uh, certainly you get the replays there. You can go back and watch that. So, uh, and the thing, you- the thing is too, with, um, the 90 day game plan with Daniel, when he streams it live and then it goes into the playlist so you can watch it later, it's already in TFT. You can invite leads and prospects to that. You can also yes. tell leads and prospects to tune into the mindset mastery as well. That one's just not pre, I mean, it's pre-recorded and it launches every, every single day for 90 days, including weekends. Um, at 11 a.m. Eastern. So you guys will have the how-to steps. If you want to tune in live, you can. You can bring leads and prospects to it. Hey, get a taste for one of our mentors, whatever. And then they can also tune into the mindset as well if they want, just like you should as well. Now, the reason we decided to do this was because when we've done blitzes in the past, just like the method we're talking about tonight, it has stirred up so much momentum that I challenge you guys to consider if I did a 90 day challenge, what are the things I would do for 90 days straight? What can I actually go and accomplish? What kind of action could I have that would match what I just said at the beginning? Six grand I want to make in April, two grand I want to make in April, however many sales, right? And Daniel and I decided to do that because we want to go faster, stronger, and we want you along for the ride if you want to. Now, that's not the point of everything we're saying here. That's just a simple challenge if you want to accept it, okay? Now, the other thing, and this is a dangle of a carrot, and no, we are not going to say anything beyond this, so don't think we will. <laughs> Next week, Teachable Tuesday, you're going to want to be there. So literally go to teachabletuesday.com and register yourself right now. I mean, can you if we're live? I'm pretty sure you can. Um, Go get registered right now. It is something that you are for sure 110% going to want to be there for is something that we have not, not ever done before, never launched before. We've talked about it kind of, but not really, not really. People have said these things, but we've it's never been requested about a thousand it. times. Yeah. It's been a question, yep. but we've never executed it. So you're going to want to go get registered for Teachable Tuesday for next week, the ninth. Do that right now. Not kidding. And then come back to this video and let me know that you're registered. Just put the word registered. Hey, okay. here's super quick deal. Like th- this has been asked and requested like a thousand times in the last, you know, almost three years of being the funnel team. And it's something that is like super trendy, super hot and gets a lot of attention out there on social media. It's something, and it's just something that we've never done. And then, you know, Kirstie and I were going back and forth over the last couple of weeks and then I started toying around with it today. And I, and I, you know, Kirsten will tell you, I dropped several F bombs when I reached back out and I just said, like, oh my blank and bleakity bleep. Like, why didn't we do this so long ago? This is so easy and this is going to help so many people. And yep. like, let me just put it this way. Like, we tell you guys this all the time. Like, don't ever freaking go anywhere because. We're always going to be doing everything we possibly can behind the scenes. Just use the gray's line. Anyone catch that? We're going to do everything we possibly can to add more training, more value, better funnels, better systems, you know, all of that stuff. And what we're about to do now is going to change the game for a lot of you. It's literally going to change the game. Um, it's something we haven't done. It's something like I'm already fired at. Like I want next week to be here right now because I already want to start training on it. And when you see how freaking simple it really is, Like I discovered something today that I just said, oh oh my God, did I just stumble across what I think I stumbled across? And the answer is like, yeah, like, (laughs) holy crap. So yeah, all all I'm gonna say is just be there next week because it's gonna be freaking awesome. So if you're not registered yet, I don't know (laughs) why you're not registered yet. I'm just saying. Okay, so those are the biggest two things. We have the 90 day in your TFT training. For both mindset and for the how-to steps, the folders, the clone, the, all of that, that you can attend live. You can catch the replay. You can watch the pre-recorded every single morning. Some of them every single day over the next 90 days. Some of them just Monday to Friday. Okay. Make sure that you tune into it. Make sure that you're intentional about that, especially the mindset one, especially being able to attend live with Daniel if you're able to. Okay. And then on top of that, please register for Teachable Tuesday because holy freak. Okay. I'll just leave it at that. Now, going back to what Catherine said, we're pulling back a method from the basics because it exploded with sales and it will do so now. This is something that 
will only help you if you use the method correctly. Okay. Before we dive in though, Catherine, do you have anything else on that that you want to add? Are you good? I'm good. I'm good. You right? good. <laughs> you good, girl. Okay, cool. Awesome. I'm going to share my screen. You guys are going to have access to this document too. Um, I'll actually drop it in the comments right now. So you guys have it. Let me just grab it real fast. Uh, uh, copy link. Okay. And then for those on the replay, this document is underneath this video inside the description. So be sure to use it. Okay. Now the ATM method, does that sound familiar to anybody? Bert, Jamie, a few of you guys, Catherine, of course, ATM. I want you to think of this method as your ATM machine. What's an ATM machine? Money. Just produce some cash, produce some lots of cash commissions. You know how to do it, right? This method, when used accordingly to what we're going to talk about tonight, is going to make it so every time you open up your phone, your phone feels like an ATM machine. You guys good with that? Just put ATM if you're good with it. Okay. We want it to be where, yes, every single time you open up your social media app, every single time you open up your app for TFT, that you have a cha-ching in your heart, in your mind, you can see it on the physical for getting a sale, for having another lead, for having another person say, I need the enrollment link, whatever else. And this method can do that. It can, if you use it accordingly. Okay. So as we walk through things tonight, if you have any questions, please hold them to the end because I will go over them if you have them at the end for what we're talking about now. Um, just write them down for me, okay? So the ATM method, it start, stands for ad tag message. We have a Facebook group that yes, you can add yourself to. It's going to be in this document. You guys can probably see it. We have a Facebook group that's going to allow you to tag prospects and leads for the proof that they're needing. Say they have a question that's, you know, well, are other people making money with this? Well, how do the travel savings work? Can you tell me about the vacation voucher? Have you done the travel yourself? I mean, what about the crypto education? What does it look like with Forex? I mean, anything like that. You're having a conversation with someone. They go to enroll into the membership. They then have a question. This ATM method is proof in the pudding, just like Catherine said a moment ago. You go to a restaurant, you read the reviews, you might ask a friend, hey, did you like this restaurant? And when they say, yeah, it was so good, the service was great, the food was astounding, it was awesome, you're more inclined to go there, right? Well, you yourself can post, post proof. Like when you get paid from GFU on Friday, you know, the email you get, GFU, you've been paid, whatever. You can post that, you can post... Um, things about Forex. I know a few of you are using the demo and you are actually learning how to do Forex. You're in that space already with Jifu. You can post those types of things. You can post the travel. You can post the fact that you got your vacation voucher. It's all for proof, okay? But let me be very, 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 very crystal clear before we get into the actual acronym of it and how to use it. As you can see here in orange, you're only doing this method for the people you invited to this group. So Don, for example, if you have guy named Billy Bob, who's like, yo, I have this, that question. You're like, cool. I'm going to add you to the group, right? The A for ATM. I'm going to tag you in a couple posts that I find that I feel you'll find helpful. And then right after you tag them, you're going to message them to take it one-to-one, -one, but it is only for people say that Don invited himself. It is not for Don or Deborah or whoever to spam and slam someone else it is specific to your leads, your prospects. Does that make sense, guys? Just drop the word yes if you feel me, okay? That should be very obvious. That should be very crystal clear. But we are not going to be poaching. We are not going to be spamming. You're not just going to DM random whoever about something or something else. You'll be kicked out of the group if that's the case because this is professional and we are always, always going to keep downline integrity, okay? Just put the word integrity if you feel me, okay? Now, you're going to add the person to the group. It is based on what they're saying, right? It's based on, hey, I really want to know, like, how, how many people are on your team? Or do you have proof of this or proof of that? Or how does this work? If you know that inside the group, there's been a post about that, then yes, you're going to add Billy Bob or whoever to the group. You're then going to tag them in the applicable posts that you find necessary based on your conversation with Billy Bob. 
Okay. And then you're going to message Billy Bob back. Hey, I just tagged you. Did you see it? To engage in a one-to-one -one conversation. The reason the one-to-one -one conversation, not just the tag, the reason the M is the last and the most important, in my opinion, is because when you take off screen, when you make it so it's a personal thing, not only does the person feel cared about because you do care about them, right? That's why you guys are here. You felt cared, you felt cared about, right? They, that person who enrolled you had something that you were needing or wanting to have. And when you take it off screen, you make it personal for them. You engage them. You make sure they got the notification or that they saw the group or whatever it is. They have a reason to respond. Okay. Does that make sense, guys? Let me know. So real quick, information on A for the adding. This is super, super important. I'm going to hop down here because this is important. Some of you guys are already in the group. Some of you have already posted photos and pictures and different pieces of proof. For those who are in the group, you probably know this. Sometimes when you use the invite to a group, it does not notify the person. So please use the actual URL link. Actually use the URL link. It's right here. Okay. You guys could literally go to it now. You can add yourself in, answer the questions, walk through it just the same as your lead would by answering the questions inside the Facebook group to get in. Obviously, we admins, me, Catherine, Bill, Daniel, we're going to approve you, right? But make sure to answer the questions so that you know when you invite or you send the link to Billy Bob, he is going to do the same. You know what it looks like for him, okay? When you use the button invite from a Facebook group though, typically it does not notify. It does sometimes, but sometimes it gets bogged with other notifications that the person may have. So be sure to send it directly based on the conversation you're already having with them. Do not hit the button invite and just invite all your freaking friends. You do that, you'll be kicked out of the group. I'm just being real, okay? It's only for prospects you're currently talking to, someone who literally says something that you're like, oh, I have that piece of proof or that picture or something that could really help them out inside of this Facebook group. Okay. Do not use the button invite. Have it be because of DMing, because of texting, because of, you know, say someone emails you, whatever it is, they say something. They're looking for some piece of proof. Okay. As you can see here, they want to know about income. They want to know about, oh, are other people getting paid or whatever it is. And then you invite them to the group by sending them the URL to the group, not hitting the invite button. Does that make sense? Now, I know I said that a bunch of times, but I just want it to be very, very clear for you guys. Okay. Now, can you use the button invite? Sure. If you're friends with them on Facebook, sure. There's just a chance they might not get that notification. So if you want the actual clarity, the one-to-one -one rapport of them getting it, of them getting involved, as soon as you send it, as soon as you invite then I would send the URL. That would be my recommendation, okay? Let them know also why you're inviting them to the group. That's important because if you are in a direct conversation, say on Facebook, Instagram, say they're a cha-ching on your phone, they're an app there, whatever. You can't just be like, here's a link. Well, here's the link for what? You know what I mean? Here's the link for what? Tie it down. Hey, based on what you just said about wanting proof on blah, 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 I'd love to invite you to this group that has additional pieces of proof from people I work with. Write that down if you're a note taker, okay? Based on what you said above, Billy Bob, wanting proof of, fill in the blank, I want to invite you to this group so that you can have further evidence and clarity for what my team does or this piece of whatever they're needing, okay? Do you want that link? Do you want to be added to the group? Let them admit that they want it. Don't just be like, here's the link. They'd be like, cool, what the freak is this, right? And then you tag them. They're like, whoa, this guy just needs to chill out. Like, why is he blowing me up, right? Make them admit that they want it. Make it so it's a conversation back and forth. It's give and take. It's not you just being like barking, okay? Does that make sense, guys? Especially for that piece. Does that make sense for you? You resonate with that, okay? Anything on that, Catherine? Um, also, I mean, a lot, of course, people are going to be saying like, oh, is, is anybody else making money? What does this entail? Da, 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 da. They want to know all, all about it, right? But also too, you need to pay attention to the people you're connecting with and listen to what they're saying because sometimes people won't tell you that, oh, I'm worried about are people actually making money? They may be just like in that kind of fear stage and they're like, 
oh, I'm not sure if I can really do this. Do people really make money? But they're not asking the question directly. They're just kind of talking. So right. listen, be a listener. And if you feel like someone's in that fear stage of like, I don't know if I could really do this. I don't really know what's all involved. Great. This is a perfect, you know, leverage for you to send them. That's going to be helpful in answering any questions that they have. And they may be like, oh my God, I didn't know it included all of this. Mm -hmm. So just be a listener to what your lead is telling you. Um, so that way, again, you can leverage this group and it helps both of you out. Amen. Oh gosh, good words. Did you guys catch that? <laughs> that was freaking good. It's leverage. It's being able to maximize your conversation to its fullest potential based on you paying attention to what the person's saying. Read between the lines. What are they actually saying when they say, well, I'm just not sure I can do this. Well, yeah, my friend Billy Bob also thought that too. Do you want to see where he's at now? Right. And then you can add them to the group. Once they admit they want the link, once they admit that they're like, yeah, I want to see what else this is about. I want to understand the community, whatever it is. Okay. Because skepticism, Lori just commented that they're skeptical, right? Not, not everyone's just going to come out and be like, I'm skeptical, right? Some people hide that. They'll, they'll act tough and buff because, you know, they're trying to learn, but like they don't understand something. But skepticism comes from them not having clarity. It also comes from their past experience. So the better you can listen, just like Catherine said, the more rapport will be built. And then there's just proof in the pudding. If you leverage, as Catherine said, you leverage the team proof, the pictures, the community, the collaboration, whatever else we got going in there. Okay. Now, Info on T for tag. Listen, don't just freaking tag the lead. Oh, okay, they admitted they wanted to be added to the group. Great. Okay, Billy Bob's in. Okay, now I'm going to tag him in all these posts. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, excuse me. Billy Bob can scroll through all those posts. Find one that actually means something for Billy Bob. Find one based on what he said or a concern or something that you can feel because you listened. You heard what he was saying. You read between the lines, right? Find one or two that actually makes sense for Billy Bob. Have it catered toward him. Not just a spammy Kathy moment of tag, 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 tag. Oh, now he's going to sign up because look at all the things I tagged him in. No, that would freaking annoy me. If I was Billy Bob, I'd be like, go away, <laughs> right? So make sure that it's specific and catered toward them based on what they said, based on your direct message, based on their concern, whatever they mentioned, okay? But do not, once you find the one or two, pictures, say they have a fault question, you find another picture, whatever it is, make sure to not just tag their name, tie it down. Even if they literally message you two minutes ago and they said, I need proof on blah, blah, blah. I want to know about this, da, da, da. How does the Forex work? Okay. Then you find a picture of, you know, someone on the demo account and trading. Don't just tag them, tag them and say, based on our conversation, I found this because I feel that It'll help you. It'll resonate with you. It'll give you a sense of clarity. Tie it down for what they said in their comment. Don't just tag the name, okay? Just like we say, you know, on Mindset Monday or something. Hey, tag your team. Don't hoard it for yourself. Make sure that your team is here too. When I tag, I always intentionally, I don't just tag everyone. I don't just tag Catherine. I say, join me live. I've got a huge announcement. Do this and because, right? Make it exciting for them. Just like using the four-point formula for your short-form videos. Hey, Billy Bob, thought of you. I'm confident this will help you in deciding to work at home with me. Look at this and I'll send you a message, right? There's a call to action. There's a piece of value. There is a something specific that they said. Now, let me be clear. If Billy Bob said, hey, I've got this amount of debt and I'm going through divorce and I da 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 da, da don't say that in the tag. Just say, based on what you said, don't like expose what they had a conversation with you privately on, but make it valuable for them for why they want the tag, why they'd want to look at that notification compared to any other else that they're bombarded with on Facebook. Okay. Now you guys got a quick example. Okay. I want you to think of it just like the four point formula, just like a movie trailer. Why do you get excited about the release date of the movie when you see it on a commercial? It's because that hooked you in, right? Make sure you're following the formula. Make sure that when they get a notification, they're like, okay, I want to stay on this. I want to read whatever the heck she said, okay? 
And then last here, info on M for message. The reason you message after tagging, as I said earlier, you invite Billy Bob, he gets the tag, but the one-to-one -one conversation, and I can speak to this very, 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 very highly, I close more and make more in one-to-one -one conversations, in one-to-one -one webinars, in actual showing of who I am and what I do and calling their name, things like that, than anything else. Anything else. Why? Because people need connection. We need connection. Whether we realize it or not, people want an actual person that they can have help them, that they can feel confident, won't ghost them, et cetera. And this group is a way to prove, hey, we're not going to leave you in the dark. Look at all this proof we have. Every single day, every single week, someone, something is being posted. It is a continuous thing. That makes the person you're talking to feel like they're already cared about and they're not even involved yet. But the one-to-one -one conversation is necessary. That's why it's the third part of ATM. You want your phone to be an ATM machine. You want to open up an app, TFT app, Facebook, whatever, and feel like you're making money every single time. Cha-ching, you got to follow the method, ATM, okay? What questions do you guys have on this? About adding, about tagging, messaging, what to say, how to tie it down, what comes to mind, okay? And then also you guys can add yourself to this group. Right now we have it as a private group where people have to answer questions. It's not just public for whoever to see if someone comments. We may change that in the future. Right now it is private where they have to actually answer questions to be involved. Same with you guys, right? Um, also, if you get in the group and you go to post something and it is not following the formula, it's just a very, very general woohoo, I did this. We will, at least I will for now, again, it could change. I will ask you to change it only because we wanted to be very clear for anyone tagging who wasn't invited by you. Let's say you posted it and then Catherine tagged and you know it's to Billy Bob, but you posted it. That Billy Bob person should go to Catherine, not Helga or whoever posted the photo. Does that make sense? So make sure that when you post, to give yourself authority to have proof in the pudding for something that you're having people ask about that you post following the formula. Okay. Rashila, for example, by the way, if I'm saying your name wrong, please correct me. I feel like I'm saying it right though. Maybe hopefully Rashila is in a demo account doing Forex training right now. She's posted a couple of times inside of our TFT Facebook group. And she has a post or two inside of this new group now about sniper, about trading, right? But the intent when, you know, say David goes and tags Billy Bob, because David has Billy Bob as his lead, his prospect, the intent is not to have Billy Bob be like, oh, I gotta, I gotta talk to Sheila. No. Billy Bob would go back to David. Okay. We keep downline integrity with this. But in Rashila's post, it would be necessary and great for her to follow a formula and say something in a CTA. Get back with the person who invited you here. You want to join the TFT movement, get back with the person who tagged you. Get back with the person who, how do you get in this group, whatever it is. That way there's integrity there. Make sense? Let me know. Now you guys can use this link. I'll just drop it again in the comments, okay? You guys can use this link to get involved with the Facebook group. But what questions can I answer for you now? You guys can post proof however you wish. We'll make sure that it is not spammy, right? We'll help you out. We'll give you that authority, yes. And then you're going to use the ATM method. But what questions can I answer for you now on how to use it, on an example, on whatever comes to mind for what we talked about tonight? Do you guys have any questions on that? And as we're waiting for any questions to come through, um, Catherine, Daniel, do you have anything to add? Uh, I mean, it's, it's pretty straightforward. I mean, as long as you follow that, it's just use this in addition to like, if you guys are using Facebook reels and you guys are connecting with that person on Facebook, use this in addition to what you're doing, you know, it's, mm -hmm. and again, this, this is one of those, if it ain't broke, don't fix the things. This is something that we used multiple, multiple, multiple times and had a lot of really good success with. So it really does work as long as you're consistent with it. And one of the reasons why it kind of, you know, we stopped using it is people just stopped using it, but obviously it works if you do it. It's just building 
building it into your routine, habit stacking and forcing yourself to, you know, take advantage of this because it does work really well when you're consistent with it. So just it all like anything, it all comes down to consistency. And if you're doing it well enough and if others are doing it well enough, it's going to grow really big as a group. A lot of people are going to get benefit out as, as a team. And also the more of us that use it, the bigger the group's going to get, the more attention it's going to gain and the more it's going to help you and the more it's going to help the team. Yep. Which is why in the future we might turn it to public. So if Billy Bob comments because Don tagged him, there's a chance that Billy Bob's friends could see that tag and then also want to engage with something. We just want to make sure that it's following a system that it's not spammy. So we'll, you know, we'll be able to, to gauge that as we go. Um, Marcelino just asked, how do you tag a person? Awesome question. You do the at sign. So the at sign, you know, just the A in the circle, you do the at sign and you use their name. If you guys are not friends with that person on Facebook, sometimes it will not pull up their name, which is why you want to add them to the group first, sending them the URL link. Once they're inside the group, you should be able to tag them because now they're in the group. Does that make sense? Let me know. Any other thoughts, Catherine, that you have? <laughs> My two cents is just, um, one, this group is for all of us to utilize. Yep. Please remember that. Um, and it's not just posting, okay. like you said, Kirstie, like, woohoo, I made this, woohoo, I bought that, or woohoo, I learned it. No, think of it, like I mentioned, you know, a restaurant, how is your review? Why would someone else want to go here? Why would someone else want to be a part of TFT, um, GFU partnering with you? Why? Literally ask yourself when you are writing your post with your picture that say you bought a product, oh my God, you earned a commission, whatever it is, like, why would this be important to someone else? How would this be impactful? Even if it's going through the training, uh, Kristen posted, I think yesterday, um, and she has some, you know, fear, some comfort zone issues, getting out of her comfort zone, watching TFT, it's helped her. So it's to help that next person that mm -hmm. hasn't gotten started yet, you know, gain that confidence and clarity that this is for me. Okay. Mm -hmm. If they feel like, you know, obviously they want to get started with you. So that, and along with what Daniel said, utilize the group. It is not for winners to win and for people to feel like, oh my God, I haven't gotten paid. Okay, that's not what this is for. If right. you are in the group, you're feeling like, oh my God, well, this, they're just posting about getting paid and da, 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 I'm not making no money. You need to check yourself because this again is collaborative and it's to empower each and every single one of us, even me. Like I love seeing every single person post and reach success or, you know, they bought a product, they're learning something new. It is about collaboration and helping each other. But in yep. order to do that, we all need participation. You guys need to utilize the group, especially if you want to use it and you're not posting in the group, you need to check yourself because right. how do you expect, oh, I want to use this as leverage, but I'm not even going to use it and, you know, give value to the group as well. Mm -hmm. So utilize it so that way we can all benefit and you know help that next person yep amen and that's a that's a really good point on posture Catherine because if you go in and you tag Billy Bob and Helga and you follow the formula and you're making it so it's an ATM machine for yourself that's great but what are the chances that Billy Bob or Helga goes in and is like she doesn't have any proof not saying the person would but if they saw your tag for something else based on your conversation with them. And then they saw a picture from you. They'd be like, oh, wow, she's a big deal in this group. That's awesome. Even if you started over the last 30 days, they don't know. Nope. So posture up, put your big girl panties on, posture up, have that authority because that is you. You deserve more. And now it's just a matter of expressing it. And you can do that through the group as a method to do so. Let's see. Jason says giant community. The other Jason <laughs> says people want to feel like they will obtain their really attain their goals when stepping out into a new endeavor. So Kristen, for example, saying, Hey, this training really helped me out. And I had struggled with comfort zone. Now it makes sense. Holy cow. I'm so glad for this training, whatever she said, that's relatable for the next person. So when Helga gets in there based on Alicia tagging Helga, right? 
now Helga feels taken care of, like she's part of something because someone said, I had this, I had that, this is my result. This is what I overcame. This is how it's helped me, right? It just gives evidence and proof for how to help the person that you're tagging. Does that make sense? Okay, any thoughts, questions that you guys have about the ATM method before we go? Let me know. Just drop them in the chat right now for me. Those on the replay, if you have a thought or question we did not go over, feel free to drop it below. I will respond to that as well. Um, and then as always, you guys have the Q&A post inside the Facebook group in the pinned announcements. If ever there's something that comes up that you can't find in your TFT training, that you have exercised every resource on Google, on YouTube, that you've asked your sponsor, whatever. If you still can't find the answer, you can use that Q&A post. Um, but other than that, we ready to wrap it up. Any other thoughts, you guys? Not really. Just utilize the group, please. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see this thing grow huge and be, you know, something that everyone can use as social proof. I literally had someone DM me the other day and I'm not going to lie. He was very straightforward, very, a little bit, not my flavor, but he was asking me, okay, I get that you make money. Didn't even care. Didn't even care that I made money been doing this for three years, gave my whole story. I want to see our other people making money. I want to mm -hmm. see other people using the products and services. Right. Well, oh, forget about me. You know, like <laughs> when you're coming to me, did not care. And this is this conversation literally sparked this whole thing that we're doing, this mm -hmm. training, because I'm like, hmm, okay. Some people really don't care that you're this. I don't think I'm a big shot, but I've been doing this successfully for three years now. So um, I have my own proof. I've always had my own proof and it wasn't enough for this person. So again, us collaborating as a community gives you know other people that are very skeptical that hope that they need like, okay, that little push. Okay, more people are doing this. I got this. I can do this too, you know? Exactly, exactly. Yep. Any <laughs> thoughts, Daniel? No, I mean, it's... Again, you, you just got to go do it. Like it's, it's, it's not there is, it's not meant to be a hangout. It's not meant to be like anything other than a tool. Think about it as that. And I think, you know, Catherine, and you said it right from the very beginning, like use it as a tool. That's what it's there for. And also too, like another big thing too, like if you have any results at all in your business, you generate your first lead, you get your first sale. Um, you have a product experience, you use the travel site, like whatever it is, oh shit, the group, like, don't just like hoard it. We all you say this all the time. Like, don't just hoard stuff for yourself and only use it for your own personal benefit. Like if you have an experience on our team, whatever it is, if it's positive, throw it in the group and then add to the community, like be a contributing factor to the community. Mm -hmm. Yep. But also be sure to use the ATM method. If you've got proof, awesome. Go be an authority inside the group, post a picture, follow the formula, have a CTA that's very clear, keeping integrity, but then also use the method. So when you connect with someone on Facebook, when you connect with someone on TikTok who needs a little bit more, have them use the URL, facebook.com slash group slash TFT proof, whatever the freak that is. It's inside your document. But have them actually get into the group and then tag them, be intentional about what they need, find a picture that actually means something for them, and then use the group for the ATM method too, not just the posting of the proof. They go together. Okay. Cool guys. Well, thank you guys for popping on tonight. Um, this replay will be available here on teachable Tuesday replays.com here within the next 20, 30, 40 minutes, whenever it loads. Feel free to check it out as needed. And those on the replay, thanks for popping on tonight and taking the time. If you were not here live with us, we want to congratulate you as well for taking the time. And we will see you inside the Facebook group here soon. Um, and register can, for next week. Yes, register for next week if you haven't already. I'm sure you guys heard that at the beginning. Trust me. You want to register for next week. <laughs> um, in green on the document is where you can collaborate on Teachable Tuesday thread that we have. I'll drop it one more time for you guys. Um, the reason that's important is because it allows people who were not here to want to watch the replay based on, oh, Catherine commented and said, I learned this, I learned that, whatever, for the second. 
which will help bring even more community. So be sure to collaborate if you wish to. We'll see you inside the Facebook group here soon and catch the replay in a bit if you want to at teachabletuesdayreplays.com. Thanks for popping on, guys. Have an awesome night.